In this video I'll be describing the upper instrument panel on my home-built helicycle. It's a single-place turbine-powered helicopter that weighs about 850 pounds maximum gross weight and uh, flies at about 100 miles an hour. It has a range of over 100 miles. Looking at the instrument panel in the upper left outside of the panel is my GPS navigation unit. In the videos uh, you will see that that's no longer there. I've been moving that around looking for a location where the sun's glare doesn't interfere with my ability to see all the indications on that little screen. So it won't be there in the videos. On the instrument panel itself in the upper left is one of the primary flight indicators which is the airspeed and uh, it goes from 20 to 120 miles an hour. You'll notice that on all these indicators there are green and yellow bands and red lines. Uh, that's very common in aircraft. Green indicates normal operating conditions, yellow is caution, and red is do not exceed. And so uh, I've changed the indications uh, on this one from what you see in this picture. This is an old picture. The green band on a helicopter actually goes from zero all the way up to uh, maximum speed because you can hover at, uh, at a very low speed or you can taxi at a couple miles an hour. So uh, there really is no bottom to the green band on, uh, on a helicopter airspeed indicator. Uh, typically I climb at between 65 and 80 miles an hour and I cruise at uh, 65 to let's say 105 miles an hour in that range. Uh, so t normally 80 to 100 is a nice comfortable cruise speed. The indicator at the upper right, the big one, is a dual needle tachometer. The outer needle with the R on it is rotor RPM. The one behind it, which you can't see, has an E on it and it is the engine RPM. The tachometer reads a 0 to 110 percent and in flight both of those should be in the green band up where 100 is. If those needles split for any reason that indicates that something is slipping and uh, that's a bad, uh, a bad thing to have happen in flight. So they normally should be married up one needle right on top of the other. Outside the instrument panel on the upper right is a vertical card magnetic compass which indicates my direction of flight. The four smaller indicators in the middle are engine and transmission parameters. Uh, starting at the left is fuel flow. The green band is centered around uh, 13 gallons per hour. Uh, turbine engines uh, consume quite a bit of fuel. 13 gallons per hour is pretty high for a small engine uh, if it were a uh, reciprocating. But a turbine engine uh, is more reliable and lighter weight, uh, but it does consume quite a bit of fuel. The next one over is a dual needle indicator for engine oil pressure and oil temperature. The third one from the left is my transmission temperature, oil temperature, and the one at the far right is engine exhaust gas temperature. That's something that's unique to turbine engines. The big one on the lo lower left is a vertical speed indicator or VSI and uh, it indicates whether I'm climbing or descending and it goes from 0 to 2000 uh, plus to 0 to 2000 minus. So for example if the needle were pointed straight up I would be climbing at a thousand feet per minute. If it were straight down I'd be descending at a thousand feet per minute. And that's the normal range that you'll see during my flights. I normally uh, climb out at uh, somewhere between say seven or eight hundred and a thousand feet per minute is very comfortable. Uh, the helicycle will climb as high as fifteen hundred feet per minute without much of a problem. 
the instrument on the far right is an altimeter. It's very much like a clock. The small hand indicates hundreds of feet. The big hand, the short one, which is I'm calling the big hand, uh, indicates thousands of feet. And so right now that's showing an altitude of 210 feet. If the, uh, the longer needle, which would be the minute hand if it were a clock, if that went all the way around, the smaller, fatter one would now be pointing at one, indicating a thousand feet. So right now we're sitting at 210 foot altitude. The rectangular black box at the top of the stack at the bottom of the panel is my very high frequency communications transceiver used for communication with other pilots and with air traffic control. The box directly below that is a transponder and that sends out a coded pulse string which indicates my aircraft number and also my altitude. Below that at the very bottom of the picture on the left is a fuel quantity indicator and to the right of that almost completely hidden behind the cyclic grip is battery voltage. Looking at warning lights, if we go back to the center at the top below the uh, tachometer, the, indicate, the uh, light that's lit on the left is low rotor warning RPM and the one on the right is a high rotor warning RPM light. The low rotor goes off below 610 RPM. The high rotor goes off above 620. So the green band for the rotor is 610 to 620. If either of those lights comes in in flight, it's time to do something about it because uh, that's an abnormal condition. On the lower left of the panel, the indicator that's lit is my L uh, my uh, charge indicator for my alternator. The one below that is called a chip detector. And what that does is indicate that there are metal particles in the lubricating oil in my transmission, which would indicate something's being ground up in there. Either the gears or the bearings are wearing uh, in an abnormal way. And so if that light comes on, it's time to land and find out what's going on before uh, there's a major problem with the transmission. The three lights on the right, the vertical stack, indicate the status of my clutch. It's either engaged in transit or it's disengaged. And that's about it. So as you're watching the video or the videos, you'll be able to see these instruments in the shot and have a better idea of what I'm doing. Thanks for watching.